Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. I am in the same robe. It's the same day as you saw my last video where I talked about how I store my makeup. And honestly, it's just because I really don't feel like sitting and filming me putting makeup on today or I just don't want to put makeup on today. I don't know. I'm just kind of in that, like, I want to film but not necessarily me doing makeup. So I thought that I'd talk about my lipsticks. I have a pretty decent collection when it comes to products for my lips and I... I don't necessarily want to do this as a declutter video necessarily because I find myself when I declutter something a couple months down the road then I'm like oh that would have been perfect for this situation. I have a hard time letting go when it comes to lipsticks because I just I love them which is funny though because I don't wear lipstick that often but I can't get rid of all my lip products i don't know we're gonna talk about it you guys will see and maybe maybe in the middle of this video i will end up getting rid of some who knows let's go ahead and get started and i'm going to share my lipstick collection with you guys Alrighty, so we have a lot to talk about because i have all of this which is so pretty to look at I have this because not all of it's going to fit in here and i don't have another one of these i need to get another I need to get another one of these, but I'm also trying to not be excessive, but I mean, this is already excessive. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and dive into my lipstick collection. So where do I start? I don't even know where to start. Let's start with um, Maybelline and then we'll go from there. Okay, let's start with drugstore and then we'll kind of move on from there. So starting with bullet lipsticks, I really love Milani's bullet lipsticks. I have a kind of a wide range of them from being their cream formula to being um, more matte formula. So first off, so the first one here, this one is called Pink For Me. And this one is actually such a pretty kind of mauvey, purpley pink color. It's so pretty. Let me actually, I'm trying to figure out how to do this. That, But anyway, that's pink for me from Melania. All right, the next shade here is called Warm Me Up. And this one is kind of interesting because it's kind of a more like lighter, not necessarily cool tone pink, but it definitely is not, when you think like something to warm me up, you know, you think something warmer <laughs> than this one is. And the thing that I love about this one is, and, and that's why, um, going off of the same one is that I feel like you can kind of wear it all year round and it's not going to be something that's again not going to kind of lean you know warm or cool it's kind of right there in the middle but I find it interesting that they called it warm me up because it literally is more of like a cool toned shade anyway it is spice spicy mop and I've had this shade for a while and I what I love about it is that it really is just the perfect mauve tone lipstick. I like this because it doesn't lean too purple but it doesn't lean too pinky either. It's kind of right there in the middle where it's kind of that reddish mauve shade. Um, it's nice and warm and I love this. I've had this for years, years and I use it every fall. I think it's beautiful. Another one that is also one that I've had for a long time, and it's also one that I use all fall, fall long. It's called Spice For Me. Warm terracotta brown shade. My swatches are not the best, so I apologize. Really does lean more just it really is just a really nice brown terracotta shade for winter or i mean for fall i have several colors like this but to me they're all different this one is definitely just a more creamier lipstick and it's not going to be too matte or anything like that this next one is called mauve for me and it really is such a pretty shade for all year round The one thing that I love about this is, is that it definitely like leans more like pinky brown rather than like a mauve shade. 
And so it really truly can be used all year round because of that, because it doesn't lean too purpley mauve. It's just kind of that shade that's kind of right there in the middle where it's nice and warm, but it's not too warm. It definitely has more pink, a pink nude shade to it. Anyway, I love this shade so much. And this is actually, as I'm swatching, it's like getting me excited to want to wear these lipsticks more often because I tend to just on a daily basis, I just tend to wear like a lip gloss. And so I'm like, ooh, I need to try these shades more, wear them more because I don't. I just like to have them sitting here in my little container looking pretty rather than using them. Next shade is called Lust for Blush. This one is such a pretty color. I wanted a shade like this for so long and I couldn't find something that was just right either. It still leaned too purple or it just wasn't deep enough. And so when I found the shade, I grabbed it because I was like, this is going to be awesome for spring and summer. Now, have I worn it as much as I thought I would? No, but I definitely want to get more use of it. So I love this shade. I just think that it's so pretty. It's like, it's bright, but it's not like too punchy, punchy. Love that. All right, this next shade is called Lust for Blush and it's just the perfect like nude. It is a little bit more sheer than some of my other lipsticks, which I don't mind. Like if I want, to, especially if I'm wearing, wanting to wear something on an everyday basis, I don't want something that's going to, um, you know, really stain my lips as much, or I want something that's gonna fade off really well because it's already sheared out anyway. So I really like this one for it every day. All right, so that's for the bullet lipsticks from Maybelline. Now, when it comes to more of a liquid lipstick, I have found that I, don't tend to like to go for liquid lipsticks, but Maybelline has a really good formula when it comes to liquid lipsticks. And I'm excited to share with you what it is because if you're looking for a liquid lipstick that's going to literally stay all day long, but still gonna give you a little bit of a glossy finish and it's not gonna dry out your lips, this is the liquid lipstick for you. It is the Maybelline Vinyl Lipsticks. And literally, I love these so much. I, I have, so many shades they have so many more shades in this with me not really leaning towards liquid lipsticks all the time i want to see how much use i get out of these first before i decide to purchase more from them so i'm going to go from lightest to darkest the first one being the shade peachy it literally is such a pretty shade I'll try to swatch for you guys the best that i can possibly do it's so pretty and it's pigmented like that that was you know you saw me when i first swiped it it's just it's very pigmented you can see a little bit of that glossy finish in there it's so pretty and what i like about it is that even though it is peachy i feel like it doesn't lean too coral toned um it's a very muted peachy nude shade and i just love it so much it's such a pretty shade this one I wear a lot when I do wear liquid lip. The next shade is called Charmed. And this one is actually super pretty. This is also one that I tend to wear a lot too. It's a little bit darker than peachy. Well, I don't know. As I swatch them, as you can see, okay, so never mind. Peachy is a little bit darker than Charmed. I knew one of them was a little bit darker. Um, but this one does lean a little bit more on to that peachy side of things but it definitely is still wearable. I tend to like the look of brighter shades, but when it actually comes to me wearing them, I just, I don't do it. Um, you know, summertime is usually those, the time when I would wear a brighter shade if I chose to, but most of the time I just go for something that's a little bit more wearable. All right, the next shade is Cheeky, and this one is actually, I think out of all of them, I think that this one is my most used. I mean, <laughs> I probably am gonna say that about all of them because they're all so good, but I think that I've gotten the most use out of this one. This one is just so stinking pretty. I love the mauve in it. And I tend to wear this more on days when I am wearing a little bit of a more makeup, um, just because it is more deep toned, but it definitely is just still pretty wearable. I mean, I honestly am gonna probably say that about every single one. And this next one is Ostra. And I, when I first, when these first came out, this was the shade that I wanted really bad, but it was sold out. So I kind of started, built up my collection. And then when Ostra came out, I purchased it and it really is such a beautiful shade. Um, but as you can see, I mean, 
awestruck and um what is this charm cheeky i think this is the shade cheeky like they're very similar I just feel like maybe Ostrak is a little bit lighter. So, you know, this kind of gives you an idea. If you like the color, but you don't want something that's too dark, you know, go with this shade. Um, if you like this shade and you don't want it to go too dark, go with this shade. But I mean, again, they're all so beautiful. And to me, they're all very different. <laughs> all right, this is such a fun shade. This is the shade Koi. And this honestly, it's probably my favorite color out of all of them. As far as me wearing it, I don't wear it that much, but it's very similar to that Maybelline bullet lipsticks that I showed you. Let me, I want to swatch that lipstick next to, um, crib on the wall. This one right here, I kind of want to swatch these next to each other. I mean, they are still pretty similar. It's kind of hard to tell because this is a liquid lipstick, but I feel like, you know, they are pretty similar like once you put it if you put them on the lips um but if you want to go for more of a creamier formula but you still kind of like that color definitely go for the bullet lipstick but if you like liquid lipsticks and you want it to last all day maybe go for this one um slightly different but still kind of gives the same effect all right the last one is the shade royal i'm not great at applying red lipsticks i don't know what it is about red lipsticks for me that is just so difficult to do but I just had to have this in my collection. Why I bought it is because I feel like the shade itself, oh, it's so it's so rich. Like, did you see that one swipe? And it's already so opaque and pigmented. I feel like this is a lipstick that doesn't lean too warm and doesn't lean too cool. It's kind of a neutral red. All right, these are ugh, liquid lipsticks, so we'll see how they come off my arm. <laughs> Oh, great. Uh, yeah, I just left it, but I keep kind of putting my arm down on my leg and I keep getting like lipstick on my leg. So <laughs> I feel like Maybelline is the one that I have the most of um, just because it's affordable. It's drugstore, but I feel like they make pretty good lipstick products. Ones that I do really like, I love, them, I love the colors, not necessarily the formula because again, this is a liquid lipstick formula but it is more on the dry side of liquid lipsticks. No matter what, liquid lipsticks at some spec on some spectrum of the scale are gonna be drying to your lips because they're long lasting, they have to stay on your lips. But the formula that I used for a long time before Milani came, Milani, Maybelline came out with their vinyl lipsticks is this line right here. This is their super stay um, liquid lipstick line. <laughs> look at all these. These all like look the same. <laughs> This first one is called Self Starter. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice as I'm talking. I love the tone in this. I love that it's got some peachy in it. It's got some orange in it, but it's still like very neutral and very wearable. Man, I'm excited. Like I'm wanting to wear these again. This is the shade called Showrunner. And this one is really pretty. Again, they're all probably gonna look the same. Okay, that one's brighter, punchier. I really tend to like to go for more peachy tones in the summer. I really like the look of it on my lips. This one is called the shade Seductress. Sometimes I don't understand when companies come up with names and I love that shade. Oh my gosh, look at that. Ooh, 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 I wanna wear that one. That one's pretty. Definitely a nude, but it kind of leans more mauve. Very pretty. All right, this is the shade called globe trot trotter and this is kind of going along with this shade right here that i showed you guys earlier um kind of that more brownie orange shade I, I always love to have some sort of color like this in my collection that one's really pretty i'm like getting excited i want to wear some lipstick guys but i if i try them all my my lips are just going to be stained and raw <laughs> just a big mess now honestly but you know you get the idea. Maybe we'll switch arms. <laughs> the last from Maybelline is their lifter glosses. Now, if you haven't tried the lifter glosses before, let me tell you just right now that this is probably my favorite gloss from the drugstore. It's got hyaluronic acid in it, which is going to hydrate your lips, going to plump up your lips and just, you know, deliver all that nice juicy hydration to your lips but also give you a really nice glossy finish i have 
two other shades that are not here with me. I don't know where they went, but I have a clear shade called Iced. And then I have another shade, which is called um, Topaz, which is a little bit more of like a, leans more towards like an orangey brown, neutral, very wearable gloss. So the other two shades that I have, this one is called um, Moon. It's just a really pretty kind of pinky gloss. Oh, come on, give me a better swatch than that. Okay, well, you, you get the idea. <laughs> That's kind of what it looks like. Just very wearable. And I think this is the one that people dupe for the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. But I could be wrong. It's it's one of the shades in the Lifter Gloss formula. I, it could be this shade. It could not be. But as you can see, like, I'm running very low on this. This is, is more of their just, like, solid color. This is in the shade Stone. But, Yeah. That is the shade stone, but they, I mean, they have many other colors. These are just the colors that I like and like to wear. Alrighty, so that is my collection when it comes from Maybelline. I'm going to do the rest of my bullet lipsticks first um, before I move on to some other brands. It comes to a matte bullet lipstick formula. This is probably my favorite one. I haven't tried many others. If I were to recommend any line today to you of what lipstick to use is it would be this line now if you don't like matte lipsticks then definitely go for the maybelline ones but this is my first choice when it comes to polo lipsticks first of all the packaging of these lipsticks oh my gosh are you kidding me like these feel very high end they are just so gorgeous and one of the reasons why they're one of the ones that i display in my little case is because the packaging is just stunning from milani and it is their color fetish liquid lipsticks and i have one more which i'm definitely gonna go find because you have to see all the colors um they have more colors than this but these are the ones that i have so this one is in the shade tease and this is such a pretty pretty shade like it's definitely a very nude shade very natural love this shade so much this one is called pleasure and this one is still very um nude wearing but it's lighter i feel like it leans more pinky toned um very similar a lot of these are gonna look very similar but when they're on the lips they look they're very different this is in the shade peony it's such a pretty pink color <sighs> just look at that Oh, so pretty. All right, this one is called Secret. This is one that I wear a lot. <laughs> Again, so similar, but this one I feel leans more on the neutral side versus this one's a little bit more pink toned. I hope you guys can see that these are different because to me, these are all very different. They're not the same. <laughs> this one, I wish that I would get more use out of this, but I just, the shade Fleur and Let's see if I can do it. Oh, are you kidding me? That is such a pretty color. I wish I would get more use out of it though, but you know, every once in a while, I will decide to put it on. For the most part, you know, for every day, obviously I stick to more neutrals, but so pretty, I love it. This shade right here, this is in the shade Poppy. Love, 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 love this color. It's a very blue tone red which blue tone reds tend to make your teeth look whiter. Um, you know, that's why, I, but I just love that. Like, I kind of want to swatch this one next to it to see kind of how different they are. Okay, one's definitely deeper than the other, but do you see that? Do you see how this one's definitely leans more cool tone versus this one? But again, this one's is more of a neutral tone red. It's not a warm tone red. I want to wear a lipstick. Maybe we'll put one on and then we can, we'll change it out a little, a little bit. Should we do that? Should we do it just for funsies? No, because I'm not wearing makeup and so it might look weird. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. So those are my Milani lipsticks. So gorgeous. I want more, you know, I always want more makeup. You know the drill. Okay, we're going to just do L'Oreal now. All my L'Oreal bullet lipsticks. First shade that I ever bought from L'Oreal when it comes to their bullet lipsticks. Actually, I think this is the first one I ever bought from them. It is in the shade Luminous Coral. Now, 
I did a video several years ago where I was looking for the perfect pinky coral lipstick. I was trying to base it off of Audrey Hepburn, what she wore in Breakfast at Tiffany's. You know what I'm talking about. You know that that's a huge deal. It's a, in the makeup industry. That's a huge deal to find a liquid lipstick or to find a lipstick that color. Google it. You'll see that it's a big deal. This is the one that I have come closest to or the one that I like the most. We're just making a mess here, guys, but we're just going to do our best. Okay. This is the one I'm going to put on actually because, you know, I just kind of do it. I love that it's neon looking. It's salmony pink with a little bit of that coral in there. Honestly, it's beautiful. And I don't hear enough people talking about this specific one. People have tried to dupe that lipstick from Tiff Breakfast at Tiffany's with other brands, but I don't think I've ever seen anybody dupe this, dupe it with this color. So pretty. Look how pretty. I just, I, I'm obsessed with this. This is, this is the one that I wear the most in summertime, literally, hands down, because I feel like, I still feel like it's wearable, but you still kind of get that punchy pop of color for summer. So gorgeous. Now I feel like I just look weird wearing lipstick when I'm not wearing any other makeup on, but it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. This is the shade um, Glossy Fawn. Um, this is from their Color Reach Shine line. So Luminous Coral is also from that, that same line. But this shade is such a popular shade. It's better if I just watch it like this and then show you guys but it literally is just perfect for every day. This one is in the shade Beige Eden, and this is actually from their Glow Paradise line. Watching it right next to Glossy Fawn, they look very similar, but the Beige Eden one just leans a little bit more on the cooler, pinkier side of things. Oh, I, just, I just smushed it. Look at that. I just smushed it. I'm just gonna dab you back into there. You know, just smushed you right back in. <laughs> shade New Excessive and this is their Color Reach Nude Intense line. This one kind of leans on that more orangey brown side of things but it's definitely more wearable than the other like two shades that I showed you. And this one is called Radiant Bronze. Okay going back I told you guys that I have a lot of these types of colors you know along with you know I have a lot of nudes I have a lot of those shades too. This is called Radiant Bronze. Okay, see? So you see how this one's more wearable? It's kind of more sheared out, whereas this one's a little bit more deeper toned. All right, so L'Oreal has lots of their lip, like their lip, liquid lipsticks and things like that tend to come in this kind of packaging. Ooh, thought that when I bought these, that they were liquid lipstick, but I think I did some research and these are actually um, more lip stains. Kind of after I took all that off, it kind of took some of this stuff off here. So we'll just continue to use the back of my hand. This shade is called Admire. And I actually really like this line, especially um, when I'm wanting something that's gonna give deliver color, but not be too punchy and it's going to sheer out. I like this formula. So this is in the shade Admire. Okay, definitely a very punchy, ready, ready, a very punchy, reddish, pinky, deep toned color. But as you put it on the lips, it's definitely going to sheer out. And as it fades away, it's going to just leave a stain on your lips. This is in the shade I choose. Again, so, so similar. My gosh, I wish that these all looked different for you guys. Maybe they do look like different on, for you on camera, but to me, as I'm looking at like the, my little viewfinder, they look the exact same pretty much. I hope you can see the difference because they are different, I promise. This is in the shade I lead. Looking at the packaging, it's gonna look, it looks like it's gonna be more of that brownie, um, you know, orange shade. <laughs> And it is. Okay. But I mean, it's still just so pretty, very wearable. And I'm sorry that you're staring at this ugly little mark on my hand. I could have put a, put a bandaid on it, but honestly, because I'm constantly bending my hand, the bandaid does not stay. So I apologize that you have to look at that ugly, ugly little mark on my hand. Sorry. This is kind of the same thing as those other ones. 
Um, I could be wrong though. I don't know. Maybelline, L'Oreal's packaging of their products can get really confusing because it doesn't really say much on the packaging other than the color. So I like for this, like it says on the bottom, color reach or age perfect line. You know, I know what line it comes from, or it says, you know, matte, or if it's a cream formula, whereas these ones, they don't tell me anything. It just tells me the shade. And so I could be completely wrong in telling you guys that these are stains. I don't know. Color be determined. And it's a very light, kind of a moussey texture looking at it. I don't know if you can see that. Kind of like a moussey looking texture. Anyway. <laughs> you can see how it's like shearing out as I'm like blending it though. So very, very wearable. Kind of has a glossiness to it too. Don't know what kind of product that is. I don't know if it's like a gloss, supposed to be a gloss or not. I don't know. We don't know. Oh, here's one more from that same line. Um, I create. Just, you know, pretty basic nude there. I did just pick up some glosses from L'Oreal. So I know that these are glosses. I have one more shade. It's rolling around somewhere in my purse probably. But this is their... Um, I believe it's like a hydrating formula, but this is in the shade Celestial Blossom. Pretty kind of clear. It's kind of like a foggy clear color. I don't know if you can even see that. It's like disappearing into all the other lipstick that I'm wearing, but hopefully by you can see that shine that it gives. This one is in the shade Rose Harmony, and I have another shade here that's kind of um, lighter than this shade, but... You know, it's just, it's a pretty standard gloss, but it's, you know, it's hydrating for the lips and I think that the colors are pretty. All right, so I have two from Revlon and I don't wear these, honestly, I don't, but I keep them because I just, I do. Pink in the Afternoon is a shade that people duped for the lipstick from Breakfast at Tiffany's. I wanna show you this right now because this these are very different, okay? You can see, this one is very pink versus luminous coral which is very much more like coral looking as you can tell okay it's still a very punchy pinky color but then when you swatch it next to this one very different but i guess it just depends on the person and their lip color because every because lipsticks are going to look different on everybody because we all have different colored um lips you know and so depending on what your lip color is underneath is going to determine how the lipstick is going to wear on you so for me this does not come close to the color from breakfast at tiffany's other, like this one does but i still really like this color pinky in the afternoon from revlon and it's been around for forever okay this one is from their matte line and this is in the shade if i want to this is not my favorite formula because I feel like it's very drying on my lips. But again, you know, maybe I need to wear, hydrate my lips a little bit more beforehand, but it's a pretty standard nude shade, but I do not get rid of it because I feel like one of those days I'm gonna need a shade that's just right. Okay, I need to go back to Milani here because I have to talk about their glosses really quick. I love the ones in their um, Nourishing Lip Plumper line. This is in the color Champagne. And honestly, I bought this and I really liked it. I just don't like how pale it is. I feel like when I wear this, it just looks too pale on my lips. But at the same time, I just think that it's so pretty. I don't know. This next one is called Prismatic Peach, which probably would look really good on my lips right now. Let's try it. My lips look the exact same, maybe a little bit glossier. But anyway, that's Prismatic Peach. This one is in the shade Rosewood, which I saw this the other day and I was like, when I, well, not the other day, but when I bought this, I saw it and I was like, oh, that's pretty. It's definitely a more pigmented gloss, you know, more color into it, but I mean, oh, very different than anything else I own. They came out with this one in a limited collection and this is in the called, shade called Silver. I mean, exactly. It's a, this is from their Diamond Shimmer Lip Gloss line. Ooh, I mean, look at that. But this one going first. This is, I'm going to talk more about my high-end lip products now. This is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I have two lipsticks from her because, again, they expensive. This is in the shade Peach Amber. 
a favorite shade of mine. And I love these lipsticks because I feel like they are pretty long lasting. So such a pretty shade. I don't feel like they, when they, you know, fade, when they fade from my lips that they don't leave. You know how sometimes when you wear something and it like, when it, as it fades, you get those like little bald of, anyway, this, I feel like this doesn't do that. And this is in the shade taupe beige, which again is such a pretty shade. So love these so much. They are a very good formula. If you're looking for a good high end lipstick, um, that's a really good one. I, I mean, I, I have not tried everything from high end before, but I do like that formula. All right. I have a couple MAC lipsticks, but honestly guys, okay. Going back to the whole debacle when it comes to the Breakfast at Tiffany lipstick color. This one is called French Silk. Look at this one. Boo. It's definitely a little bit more not as bright tone. Actually, again, okay, we're gonna swatch them side by side. I feel like this one is still just punchier and neon, more neon, but still very similar. Like if this wasn't like as neon as it is, you know, they are very similar. Um, this one's just, again, more coral, which is what I was looking for in the first place. And then I bought this shade. And I was like, okay, this is the one. But then I happened upon this one from MAC, French Silk. And I was like, okay, we got to try this. This next one is called um, Teddy, Velvet Teddy. This is a very, very popular shade. You know, it's mauve but it's neutral, it's nude. It's got a little bit of pinky in there. Like it's kind of a little bit of everything. And I think that's why it's so popular because it kind of just hits all points, but it's not like too deep. It's very wearable. <laughs> On a whim, I bought this shade because it was, it's a little mini. Look at it. It's just like a little mini size. This is in the shade Whirl. This is one of their other popular shades, but um, is it my favorite shade? No, but look, look how cute this is. Look how cute it is. It's just so tiny and small. This is not my favorite color. I, 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 I honestly would not wear the shade but if you look at it it looks very similar to teddy almost but it's more warm tone it's got more brown in there and it's deeper are we done i have two more to talk about two hot hi right, well this is from Juevas place and Juevas place is one of those companies that kind of it's still considered drugstore but i feel like their stuff is just a little bit more pricier this is in the shade soul first of all okay the packaging of this is just divine. I love the ombre in it. It's kind of a matte satiny texture. The gold around here, it's got the J for Jewel this place on here. The packaging is just 10 out of 10. But then you open it up. You ready for this? You ready for this? Look at that detail on that lipstick. What? I almost don't want to use it because I don't want to ruin the detail on this lipstick. It's so beautiful. Am I going to ever get rid of it? No, because it looks freaking amazing and so cool. Going back to, you know, my browns. It's a matte formula. This is their, this is the cream formula from Maybelline. Very similar. Um, the, this one's just matte and this one's cream. So, all right, last one. This is from Jaclyn Cosmetics. This is her liquid lipstick in the shade Sweetheart. Shade right here. I just, I can't. So pretty. So, so pretty. One last thing from Milani. I don't know why I keep forgetting about Milani. Like, lip oils are really good. This is in the shade Strawberry Melon. I also have a different shade. I don't know where it is. It's probably my bag somewhere, but this one. No, it's not this one. The other, the other one is the one that I'm thinking of, which... I don't remember what shade that is. But anyway, it smells like smackers. It smells like smackers. It smells like the lip um, chapstick that we wore when we were kids that just has that that distinct fruity smell to it. <sighs> I'm out of breath and I'm thirsty. If you guys haven't tried the strawberries and cream Dr. Pepper, if you're a Dr. Pe Pepper fan, I urge you to go out and try this. 
All right, guys, that is it. That is my lipstick collection. Now, that doesn't include, like, all my lip liners. I thought this was fun. I mean, hopefully you guys got some ideas and saw some fun colors that you maybe want to try yourself. Definitely in the comments down below and let me know what your favorite lipstick is. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and click the subscribe button. And that would be awesome because I would love for you to join my little family, my little corner here on YouTube. And if you want to be notified of every video that I upload, hit the notification bell and you will get notifications every time a new video of mine pops up. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'm kind of getting a little buzz now after this video, as you can tell. Um, but I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.